cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound towards you, that you always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. Now, listen to me carefully, people of God. When we are approaching God to know the future, we approach him with understanding that he is able to make all grace to abound towards us. That we always, having all sufficiency in all things, we may abound to every good work. It's not okay for believers to be sitting back, watching, when people that believe in other things take up positions of authority. It is not okay when believers in Jesus Christ sit back and watch and allow those people that are, are not, you know, those people that are not uh, worshipping the living God or our God to take up positions of authority, positions of leadership, positions of determining how the roads are going to be built, positions of determining how people are going to be fed in a country, Positions of determining how people are going uh, to school in different nations. When we, are, when we are not careful, then we find ourselves in a place where instead of allowing uh, the Spirit of God to work in the lives of His people, then we find ourselves allowing the Spirit of the devil to continue to deal a blow to the nations that we belong to. And many, many of us, God's people, we have accepted the lie that we are not uh, supposed to engage in uh, any meaningful leadership of our nations. And that's an anomaly because everybody uh, that God has brought in the world and in the different nations he expects them <coughs> to participate well in the in nation building ventures in that nation. He expects you and I to participate fully in building the different nations where we belong to. And he expects you to be in a place where you can think for your country. Think for your people. Think for the people that uh, are around you. God expects you and me to be in a place where we can say, this is what God, God's intention is for our nation, for our communities, for, uh, for us as his people at this particular time. When we are not able to take it up and to uh, run with it as people with understanding, then we are failing God. When the worshippers are working day and night, 
to to clinch to power when uh, traditionalists are working day and night to make sure that those that believe in God, the true and living God, do not come anywhere near determining how life is going to go on in the places where they live. Believers are busy calling those who are trying to make a difference, those who are trying to go into places where they can determine that the space of God is not going to be taken away in our nation. The freedom of worshipping God is not going to be taken away when the others are busy trying to sit in those seats where determinations of such kind or of such nature are made. Believers are busy cursing fellow believers who decide to go and sit in places where they can make such determinations. They are busy calling them back. They are busy discouraging them. They are busy cursing them and calling them names and trying to discourage them and trying to fight them using the weapons of the kingdom of God to fight those that have been uh, pro pro you know, propelled forward by the same kingdom to go for us. It is a case of the children of Israel binding their Samson and handing him over to the Philistines. It is a case of those that Jesus is fighting for, saying, crucify him, crucify him. And that is a tragedy of our day. It is not just happening with His Excellency the President. It is happening in every area where believers have taken positions of authority, where believers have become CEOs or COOs or chairmen of different uh, organizations. It is fellow believers who are pulling them down. Why? Number one, because of poverty mentality. Number two, because of the ignorance of their leaders. Majority of Christian leaders have chosen the path of ignorance instead of the path of knowledge. And the Bible says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. When you see uh, many of uh, us, the clergy, comment on, um, you know, what is happening around us. Sometimes you feel ashamed because they do not have a clue. Then they think that um, the way we, we, we run, uh, you know, a small church is the way you run, uh, a, 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 you know, a sub-county or a county or, or, or a parastato. They think that any time that somebody decides to do something wrong, you're supposed to humble yourself and ask them to forgive you when they are in the wrong. And then you are a good Christian. People of God, you have not seen, uh, you know, the righteous in the kingdom, in the kingdom of God, or even God himself coming to apologize to the devil so that he may save him. No, no. When... Uh, you know, people choose how they are going to be governed or how they are going to govern themselves. Then the, the agreements become laws. And once they become laws, they are enforceable. And when they are being enforced, 
they will definitely brush, you know, some people the wrong way. And that is part of covenants made by different people or now they are going to uh, govern their lands. And it is good for us to understand that God is the one that runs the affairs of men. He raises one. He brings one down. Now, those that do not hear from God and they don't want to hear from God, they simply say, God is not involved in uh, leadership of nations or politics. But what we see in scripture is totally different. Totally different. 